Battle of Empire. CD 1453, the year 1453, is etched in the annals of history as the moment when the world witnessed one of the most monumental military conquests ever recorded. The fall of Constantinople, the heart of the Byzantine Empire, to the forces of the Ottoman Sultan Mem II, marked the end of the Middle Ages and the dawn of a new era. This event, known as the Fidi 1453, was not merely a military victory, it was a turning point that reshaped the geopolitical and cultural landscape of Europe and the Middle East. Sultan Mem II, a visionary and ambitious leader, orchestrated this campaign with meticulous precision, forever earning his place in history as Mem the Conqueror. Constantinople's Strategic Significance Constantinople, a city of immense strategic and symbolic importance, had long been coveted by various empires. Its location at the crossroads of Europe and Asia made it a vital center for trade, culture, and military power. For centuries, it stood as the formidable capital of the Byzantine Empire, known for its impenetrable walls and rich heritage. However, by the mid-15th century, the Byzantine Empire was but a shadow of its former glory, surrounded and encroached upon by the rising Ottoman Empire. The capture of Constantinople was seen by Sultan Mem II not only as a means to secure the Ottoman Empire's dominance, but also as a fulfillment of a long-held dream of many Muslim leaders who had aspired to bring the city under Islamic rule. Sultan Mem II ascended to the Ottoman throne in 1451 at the age of 19, bringing with him a deep-seated ambition to make his mark on history. Unlike his predecessors, who had attempted and failed to capture Constantinople, Memd was determined to succeed. His preparation for the siege was extensive and thorough, reflecting his understanding of both the city's historical resilience and its contemporary vulnerabilities. Memd's plans went beyond mere conquest. He envisioned Constantinople as the capital of a vast, multicultural empire that would be the center of the world. Mem too knew that to breach the legendary Theodosian walls of Constantinople, he needed more than just a large army. He needed innovation. One of his most significant advancements was the commissioning of the Hungarian engineer Urban to construct massive cannons, including the famed Basilica, capable of firing enormous stone balls that could devastate the city's walls. These cannons represented a leap in military technology and would play a critical role in the siege. Before launching the siege, Mend employed diplomatic tactics to isolate Constantinople. He secured peace treaties with Hungary and Venice, two potential allies of the Byzantines, ensuring that they would not intervene during the siege. He also maintained a facade of peaceful intentions towards Emperor Constantine XI, offering terms that seemed reasonable but were never intended to be fulfilled. This diplomacy was coupled with the construction of Ramilai Hazari on the Bosporus, which effectively cut off aid and reinforcements from the Black Sea, tightening the noose around Constantinople. On April 6, 1453, the Ottoman army, numbering between 80,000 to 100,000 men, began the siege of Constantinople. The city's defenders, led by Emperor Constantine XI, were heavily outnumbered, with a force of around 7,000 soldiers, including a contingent of Genoese mercenaries led by Giovanni Giustiniani. Despite their disadvantage, the Byzantines were determined to resist. The first days of the siege were marked by intense bombardments from the Ottoman artillery, with the Basilica cannon hurling massive stone projectiles that shook the city's walls. Mem II employed a range of tactics to breach the city's formidable defenses. These included the construction of siege towers, tunnels to undermine the walls, and the use of naval forces to blockade the city from the sea. One of the most remarkable feats was Mem's decision to transport his fleet overland, bypassing the chain that blocked the entrance to the Golden Horn. This audacious maneuver allowed the Ottomans to attack from multiple fronts, further stretching the Byzantine defenses. As the siege wore on, 
the defenders of Constantinople faced not only the relentless assaults of the Ottoman forces, but also the psychological strain of their impending doom. The city's population, already diminished by years of conflict and economic hardship, was now trapped within the walls, subjected to continuous bombardment and the horrors of war. Food and supplies dwindled, and the people of Constantinople, both civilians and soldiers, endured unimaginable hardships as they fought for their city's survival. The final assault, after weeks of relentless pressure, Mem II decided to launch an all-out assault on the city on May 29, 1453. This day would go down in history as one of intense battle and ultimate conquest. The attack began in the early hours, with waves of Ottoman soldiers charging at the weakened walls. The Byzantines, exhausted but resolute, fought valiantly, with Emperor Constantine XI reportedly fighting alongside his men in the streets. Despite their bravery, the Byzantine forces were overwhelmed by the sheer numbers and determination of the Ottoman army. The decisive moment came when the Ottomans breached the city's walls at several points, including a critical section near the Blacerni Palace. Giovanni Giustiniani, the Genoese commander, was mortally wounded, which caused a significant blow to the 